How many of you believe in here that the power of God could fix all of the famine in the world today? I mean, don't, how, how many of you believe that? Okay, I, I, every hand in here going up. You believe that God is powerful enough to fix all famine that's in the earth today. Is that, is that right? Okay. How many of you believe that God is powerful enough to eradicate all sickness and disease on the planet? Absolutely. How many of you believe that God is powerful enough to bring peace to the whole world? Well, I, I would agree with each one of those myself. But do you understand that by us believing that the power of God could fix all of those things, and then looking at the world today and those things not being fixed, we can only come to one conclusion. If we base our relationship on the power of God, we can only come to one conclusion. And that conclusion is, God must not desire famine to be eradicated, sickness and disease to be eradicated, and peace to be in the earth. Because if He did, He would fix it. Is that right? I mean, I mean really, if, if we, all, we all said that we believe that God has the power to completely get rid of all sickness and disease on the earth. Do, is there sickness and disease in the earth today? Then it must not be the will of God for sickness and disease to be off of the earth. Do you see where this, you see where this line of thinking goes? Now, what I just made is an incorrect statement. But if you start off by believing that your relationship with God is based on His power, that's where you wind up. And it's incorrect. Jesus, and we're going to be studying this in the next few weeks. We're coming in uh, uh, towards Easter here. We're coming in towards the Passion of Christ. We'll be talking in, over the next few weeks about uh, the week that led up to the crucifixion and the resurrection. My favorite time of the year, my favorite thing to teach on. Jesus Himself bore stripes on His back, the Bible says, so that you could walk in health. Does your Bible say that? The Bible says that the chastisement of our peace was upon Him. Why? So that we can have peace. Our relationship, you're going to need to write this down. Our relationship with God is not based on His power. Our relationship with God is based on covenant. Our relationship with God is based on what does the covenant Say, there is an agreement. There is a binding legal agreement that has been sealed with the blood of the Lord Jesus that God operates with us according to. For you to walk as a mature believer, you have to understand that agreement. Most Christians don't. That's why they go through life thinking as we shared a few minutes ago, that God is powerful, and if He wants something to happen in our life, then it will happen, and if He doesn't, it won't. That's not the way this system works. I know that's the way we would like for it to work, but it's not the way that it works. It works according to our covenant that we have with God. 